guys we just got our hands on a new p2 patch for starsys alpha 3.24.3 this time some really interesting changes you might want to know about before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an rti argo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december let's get straight into this video all right um a few minutes ago cig just dropped a patch and um yeah essentially uh testing focus for this one stability iae save stanton global event uh polaris and star lancer so now they've added some interesting new updates pertaining to these two ships now let's just get straight into it features again play under the ships and vehicles category the rsi polaris polis pass it says here collision polaris collision and animation physics uh optimization animation sound effects polish greatly increase the hydrogen fuel tank holds from what i'm hearing uh i think waka confirmed that it's about four times the size so that's a lot of fuel that's really good all right bespoke guns fully locked down the hard point which means we're only going to be i think we're going to be stuck with the um the ballistics so um in in the previous builds we were able to switch swap out uh other size six guns on there um for the nose gun but this time i think uh, they're locking it down making us use um the ballistic ones i just need reloadable i just need them to be able to be for us to reload them in the field okay so hopefully we get that very soon it says here bespoke guns fully locked down the hard points added um a custom lockdown gimbal and uh, include the changes to the pdc radar priority and it continues to say updated and tune the rsi bespoke ballistic cannon ammo and cannon it says cannon is now 50 rpm with higher armor penetration the thing is there's no armor in the game right now so this doesn't mean anything until we get armor into the game all right so moderate ballistic damage and implemented simple overheat mechanics interesting okay uh increased vfx size and bullet trajectory to match large turrets really interesting all right so now with the star lancer max polish it says detachable component health pass and it says here they've updated the lod's for thrusters it says here they've added a pdc radar access for the phoenix 890 jump and the polaris so now what is this pdc radar access is there going to be a separate radar system uh, for us to manage the pdcs I'm, I'm not sure what this exactly what this means if you guys know let me know in the comments down below it says your vehicle ramp proximity detection polish as well on the core tech it says server physics entity rotation uh performance improvements and uh along with this there's a few more bug fixes all right so it says here they fixed an issue where physics grid are missing from a number of interior locations across the PU. Will fix location like UGF gravity. Uh, they fixed an issue where Hercules spawn and land off uh, balance on hangar floor. They fixed an issue where the open exterior prompt is opening the external escape pod doors. This is for the RSI uh, Polaris. They fixed an issue where armistice zone is not covered in all halls during elevator travel that's interesting they fix an issue where traversal in elevator taking longer than expected for iae they fix an issue where a large opaque plane will be visible when viewed from the asap storage access area if hangar doors are open along with this is two server crash fixes and one server deadlock fix before i let go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one